Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my very first ever reaction to Sim or SIM or Seam or I don't know how you say it. it depends on, you know, I guess uh, the way their name is written and whether they use the Japanese pronunciation or English or whatever. You know what I mean. I'm going to call them Sim though. <laughs> and um, I'm going to react to um, their official video for the rumbling because we just of course finished attack on titan sad face i'm really bummed out still um but i've been wanting to dive into this song since i heard it in the opening so even though i probably know like 90 percent of the song already from the opening um i want to see first of all what kind of music video they gave to the song and also i want to hear the whole thing and um i'm gonna make this more probably like a uh, um lyric breakdown video kind of where um i'm gonna really pay attention to the lyrics and see if i can relate it back to attack on titan and see more of like how it relates to Aaron's side being of the rumbling. And then, of course, we'll do Under the Tree, I think is what it's called, for the um, ending for Mikasa's side, and we'll dive into that one uh, in uh, another video. So, But we're going to, of course, start with this one. Um, and um, be my first time with Sim, if you guys want to dive into more stuff um, of theirs, I believe they're a band, then um, let me know, and I'll do that for sure. So uh, let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's dive right into this, because I'm really excited to uh, see how it relates to Attack on Titan and how uh, they did this uh, song justice for the show. So yeah, let's not waste more time, guys. Let's just do it. Here we go. <laughs> This is sick. It's interesting they went looking with animated. It looks animated. At least it did for a second. Yeah, since it's animated. Interesting. Okay, okay. So, in a way, it's interesting here. I'm not gonna like do it like every single lyric breakdown, but I'm gonna take certain sections here that I see that I think could relate to Attack on Titan and talk about them. So, um, like here, you say, like, I never wanted to be king. I never, uh, all I wanted to do was save your life, I believe is what they said. Oh, here we go. All I ever wanted to do was save your life. I never, um, what is it? So, okay, so let's go with that. So, all I ever wanted to do was save your life, like basically Aaron saying, all I wanted to do was save your life, my, you know, his friends and people he loved, you know, and like then like kind of taking it into a different perspective here, saying I never wanted to grab a knife, and in this case, like not necessarily that he grabbed a knife, but he kind of like you know how a knife cuts deep and whatnot. He basically cut off, you know, half the entire like world, basically, you know. So kind of, I think that's kind of how I see it there. That's a cool effect. Love that. If I, I love all the fossil titans in the background. Very fitting. I was finishing, I'll talk about that. No. Okay, okay, so we gotta go back here to. There's the beware part. And then, if we look here, if I lose it all, lose it all, lose it all, outside the wall. So basically saying, Aaron, kind of going back to Aaron again. If I lose it all, meaning like if I lose everything outside the wall, and then it says, live to die another day, basically saying, 
if it's it's kind of like this is of course all my interpretation too of course so you guys can obviously you know interpret it the way you want to also but if you look at it this way he's basically saying if i lose it all outside the wall and then die live to die another day basically saying if we lose everything outside the wall all my friends and people i love will live to see another day you know and then if you pay attention here which is really cool is right after this part see this guy is like dissipating away as if like you know if i lose it all like it, like you know almost like showing like somebody from outside the wall being crushed and to like basically like little pieces of nothingness from the rumbling which is really really cool touch there That part, I'm not sure if that would relate. I'd have to think about that. Gosh, these guys rock so hard. All I ever wanted to do is know what's out there. All I ever wanted to do is know what's out there. Because if you look back, you know, what's out there out beyond the walls because of what Artemis showed him in the book, you know? So, like... His whole, like, you know, basically, you know, beginning, we'll say, started because of Armin showing him there is a world outside of this walls, and he wanted to see that. But then, you know, whatever happened where he then went psycho and decided, actually, I want to crush and destroy everything outside the walls, you know, for whatever selfish reasons was. I'm not st still not quite sure about that. Um, I'll touch on that, though, on, in a different video. And then also saying here, I refuse to lose without a fight. So uh, going back to his his thing, fight, fight, fight. That's what his like little catchphrase was um, as we got into, like, especially season three. And, um, you know, basically, obviously fighting to, you know, protect his friends and keep them healthy and ever, or keep them alive. I mean, yeah. This is the part I haven't heard yet. Good point there, but I did also want to go back to this part. We're just too young, innocent, and ignorant. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> ignorant and innocent. There we go. The fact that he's referring to the fact that, yes, they are kind of adults by season four, but if we look at the logistics of it, they're still technically kind of only 20 years old, you know? And, like, even if you kind of go back to even just saying, like, how they were just kids when this all started, you know? And really, if we think about it, Aaron's path to destruction started when he was just a kid. He literally says and admits that he projected the, basically, outcome to be based off of him even killing his own mother so that, that the future would happen the way he wanted it to. And then if we go for it, like, little kids staying up all night in a tent kind of almost going back to the idea of the tents that we all saw, you know, from the, um, within Marley and the little kids we saw that he unfortunately just crushed and killed, which is just messed up. But, you know, anyways, and then going back one more time. How do you see me? Am I who I used to be? Going back to saying, is Aaron who he used to be? We look at the very beginning when we see young, innocent Aaron determined to drive out all the Titans and ultimately be able to get to the outside world where it's free of Titans and he can just explore and he can go see the ocean that, you know, he was always told about from Armin. And then, um, you know, the idea of where does this, I, this crazy ideology of him wanting to destroy the world come from? You know, it's more beyond just him saying that. It's more than just saying, oh, I wanted to protect my friends and keep them, you know, alive and whatever you want to say. It's a little bit more than that, in my opinion. I think it's more so, like, he really ended up being the villain. You know, he ended up being a very weird one, though. It's almost like he became, like, an anti-hero. He still almost is portrayed as a hero, because of what he did for his friends, but he was a villain to the entire rest of the world, and his villain arc, we'll say, ultimately led to Paradise Island being destroyed anyways. So, 
yeah, he gave his friends probably a, a somewhat good life still outside of, you know, um, you know, the stuff that happened, but they still all probably die in the long run. So it's like, was it really worth it? We don't know. Like I said, I'm not getting too much into that. I'll save that for another video. But I, I can see how well they, this is very impressive, very well written to be actually a really good song, but also really relate to Attack on Titan and how Aaron could be feeling while he's going through all this shit. Have the middle finger, I love it. Oh. Oh, the needles. Or the, uh, what do they call it? Kind of saying, nobody knows what's inside of me. A titan isn't basically inside of him. A part of him is a titan. Nobody understands, like, what he's feeling either. Nobody understands, like, the turmoil that he is feeling from having to go through this crazy shit and having to basically kill his own mother, watch some of his friends and, like, whatnot die. You know, Sasha and, um, you know, Erwin and um, um, Hanji, you know, having to have all these people he like looked up to and like was friends with basically all die all because of this mission that he was, you know, determined to have happen, you know? So it's like, yeah, he could see, be painted as a villain, but we don't really know what's going on inside of him still. We never really got that. We never, you know, he was very much almost like Reiner where like Reiner was just a kid told to go to an Island that's supposedly filled with all these terrible people. And he needed to, you know, break down their walls and put them in harm's way, basically, you know, Aaron almost kind of went through the same thing, except he kind of went a more messed up and really screwed up kind of way. But, you know, it's very similar. Like he said in the actual anime, you and I are both kind of one and the same, you know, so. Yeah. If I lose it all, slip and fall, we will laugh for me. If I lose it all, lose Ooh, it all. That's cool. If I lose it all, slip and fall, I'll never look away. This is such a good song. Oh my god. Wow. Ooh, I heard that bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's cool. I love him flashing back and forth into one of the colossal titans. That's cool. Okay, watch this. Colossal titan. Colossal titan. <laughs> Oh, and then they ultimately get smashed in the end, like if they were part of the rumbling too. Very nice touch. Um, oh, that's cool. They had one that they did for anime special version. Oh, that probably actually like was used like maybe they might have collaborated with the artist like um, from um, Mappa to create that. I'm about to watch that one. Um, I might watch that on my own unless if you guys want me to watch that one too because it probably is really cool. It'd be really cool to see it like relating to Attack on Titan like in like not just the song itself but also then the fact that we could see the anime being part of it too. But yeah, very, very impressive. And honestly, I think one of the best openings I've heard for an anime, honestly. It's so well done because it really relates to what you'd almost imagine Aaron feeling in that moment, you know? You almost wonder, you know, what what hell he was going through having to go through this. Like, I can't imagine going through and seeing through your dad's memories what is ultimately going to happen in a way. Um, and what his destination was going to, or his uh, destiny, I guess we'll say, was going to be to basically 
see people that he cared for. It was like he saved the people that mattered the most to him and sacrificed a couple that maybe... Because, like, when you look down to it, like, the main, like, group of people was always who survived. Mikasa, Armin, Connie, Jean, and Levi. You know, those were always, like, the ones that were the most present. Yeah, Sasha was, too. And we did kind of see a little bit... I don't know, I'd say Sasha was pretty important, honestly. That was one of the, like... Besides Hanji, she was definitely the second worst death for me. You know, so... I mean, I'd say they probably all were very, very important, let's be honest. But it's like... The ones he considered his friends, we'll say, and always were, like, say, in his ass and stuff, were the ones that we kind of saw survive. You know, so it's like... It's almost like he knew who he could lose, and he didn't want to lose at the same time. And like I said, I'm not going to dive too much into it, because I think I'm going to do a separate video where I kind of go more into detail. Now, I'm not as emotional like I was at the end of the video um, in the last episode. Um, I kind of want to, just because I've really been thinking about it a lot lately. It's, this has been a, uh, an episode, or I should say, a show that really has left a huge impact on me, honestly. it's It's been, it's, it's really bothered me that, that there's some things I'll just talk about in, you know, in another video. But for the most part, this video and song was incredible. It's one of the best well done put together songs for an actual anime that i've ever heard in my opinion honestly um it just matches like it's like the the the, the heavy rock with the unclean vocals and whatnot just is perfect for the way that you know you describe that destruction of the rumbling that you see in the anime and just showing like almost like the anger that you see from Aaron, especially coming right out of that final episode right before a special start where he's just in like almost a fury angry as he goes to stomp upon and destroy marley the place that ultimately started the destruction of his own hometown you know so yeah but yeah i mean honestly guys really freaking cool the lyrics related to the anime was so well done and um, i would definitely love to check out these guys more because this is not just good music but it's music i enjoy more than anything i mean i've done a lot of unclean vocal stuff on this channel so yeah if you guys want me to dive more into sim is what i'm calling them then just let me know which ones i should dive into next and um next um i'm gonna do the compliment we'll say the um, outro outro the ending for the rumblings counterpart we'll say which was i think under the trees what it was called so we'll, i'll do that one next to see what mikasa side would be in more so than um aaron's side we'll say but anyways, guys, sorry for this video probably being a little bit long since I did more of a lyric breakdown. So uh, hopefully you still enjoyed seeing what I had to say. And of course, I would love to hear what you guys think of what I said and what you guys think from the lyrics too. So yeah. Um, but that's all for me today, guys. Um, so, you know, I'm going to keep trying to sprinkle in more, a little bit more things we can do here and there with Attack on Titan, not completely say goodbye yet. So, you know, look forward to more of that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's all for me today. So thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Alrighty, guys. Bye. <laughs>